Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adels for Faith. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Factorio 4X, your 15-minute Factorio fix. This is Season 3, Episode 33. A whole bunch of threes all at once. We are on our train. Choo -choo -choo -choo. And... Yeah, I think I'm trying to limit the amount of iron that comes through because we have way too much iron. By that, I mean tons of it. Tons and tons and tons and tons. I wonder how much each piece of iron actually weighs. That, that, that kind of makes me curious. I have no idea. So, so I'm trying to clean up the little parking garage up there, which makes me laugh. I, I don't know if I'll ever actually get rid of the road. Maybe not, but I'm making storage chests because I'm kind of thinking of using the logistics robots that I have now to kind of clear out my inventory, and I just kind of say, uh, there's no need. So, yep, there's no need. So I'm just getting rid of the fuel, trying to make sure everything fits and works and is nice. And we're on ro follower robot count 19. Oh, we're so close to being done with science. So close. I'm terribly excited about this. I'm still looking at that. And I'll be looking at that stuff, trying to figure out exactly... Is it still... What did I miss? And I think I have an idea what I missed, actually. I was, uh... If you use that, and you want to make a terraforming kit, I think you have to use different products. So there it is. We've got that side running. Yes. Yes. Now, the map won't refresh. Excuse me. Dragging my flashlight around. I left my volume on on my main PC. The map won't refresh until you actually see it, which is why radar is important because radar refreshes occasionally. Now, it'll refresh constantly. In the, it has a, a line of sight that is similar to yours that lets, you, that lets you see what's going on. But I don't have a radar down there. And I don't want one because I don't want the radar to attract, uh, you know, the natives. I have a nice hot cup of coffee. It's quite delicious here. Uh, seeing as how it's winter and it's chilly in my house, and I don't have the space heater on because it makes noise. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna get some landfill because I have to go fill in some stuff here. The car. <laughs> Tree, take a drink. So just driving around, trying to check out where it is. Now, I'm going to be spending actually a fair amount of time at the terraforming sites. Terraforming sites. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm preparing the southern part for the eventual bridge building. Okay. Sure. Oh, I was sitting there going, have I done this before? And, and yes, I've done this before. There's a similar structure off to the west that I've also built. Oh, my goodness. For a moment, I, I sort of went, have I doing commentary over a video I've already done? And the answer is no. It's just the building technique's the same. So I'm going to be looking up there and doing the same thing with this. And it's uh, it's really it's really interesting. It feels, it feels very different to have a, a very big, big, big project that I'm working on. So I believe I'm going to go up here and explore a bit by doing some busting of bases. Because that's the best way to explore, is with, uh, with a gun in your hand. And a hostile attitude. After all, the local natives can't be. There's no way they can know anything about my enlightened ways. Mm. That, that little coal patch there is going to be my favorite, my, uh, my friend here for a little while. Uh, very soon, when I start building the next... Remember, uh, remember how it wasn't? Oh no, it hasn't happened yet. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, but the the machine likes coal for a fuel and requests coal, so you can put solid fuel in it, the terraforming machine. But it doesn't really like it, it or or it won't request it anyway. So. But here's a little bitty basis I gotta go around and give the what for. Because, you know, that's what you do. You go kill the little bitty bases. Because they're in the way. Little bitty bases can become 
big bases and I, I don't want the little bitty bases to be you know big bases anytime soon that's just uh, I don't know I think I think that'll cause more more havoc than it's worth in fact I, I know it will so this is probably going to be the last I think the last base busting session for a while because after this I've really got to get started building so the idea I have, if I haven't already, whoop, yeah, <laughs> built them a little too close to the bad guys, is building the rockets. I'm going to, again, use use the main, once I'm done with science, I'll be using the main base for my little boutique specialty builds, things I need to for the rest of the factory to run. And then I will be building big factory. Ow, somebody was shooting at me. Big Big batter, big battery, big factory stuff down in the middle. So, but I also need to see where all this stuff goes, because it's kind of important. You need, you need to know, you need to, you need to have a lay of the land. In fact, is a game that I don't think is fun if you don't have a goal. I'm sure I said this before. I'm probably repeating myself. This is a, a different day. I'm sure I said it about 18,000 times uh, the last couple episodes. So probably 30, 31, 32, I've said all this before. And I'm sorry you have to hear me. But there's a, a good amount of bases up here. I'm probably going to get, I don't know, I think get close to 300 alien artifacts off this. Um, I hit a decent sized base, but I don't hit any. Well, I don't think I hit any really big ones. No, there's some big ones up there. Not here, of course. Not this area. I wonder if, if the de if the airplane mod will let me fly over the biters without being attacked. I would absolutely love to be able to fly and just explore and see what the landscape looks like. And find mineral patches. And then go take them. <laughs> Now this is a pretty decently sized base. It's weird. It's on a really decently, I shouldn't say a decently big. That's, but I would say that's maybe a, a medium sized iron deposit. Maybe? Medium? Medium large. There you go. Yeah. Medium large. Kind of like a, it's the 32 ounce size, not the 44 of iron deposits. Yeah. So, luckily we're not in New York. We can drink large soda pops without uh, breaking the law, having sugar, and, you know, fun. But, you know, New Yorkers are New Yorkers. They do their own thing. They elect their own politicians. They, uh, I guess I guess they're happy with, uh, with, the whole, with the whole nanny state thing. I mean, uh, they must be or they wouldn't keep voting people like that in. So, whatever. So, we're just going to keep... And this one has a lot of worms in the trees. And I want to clear the worms out. Because I, I don't know if worms can cause base generation. Wor uh, biters apparently follow the laws that were originally prescribed back in the Middle Ages. Uh, the laws of... Uh, gosh, what did they call it? Spontaneous... Um, There would be rats in the grain, and so they weren't sure if it was the grain causing the rats, or it. it you'll have to look up. I don't. I don't remember exactly, but it was one of those things where you're kind of like, really, they thought this? Okay. So, but I mean, it's easy to look back on people and go, they're so dub, all oh, dubbies. When you know, if somebody had to teach us the stuff we know, and we don't know it, and we didn't know it, and so somebody had to teach us, and they had to figure it out, kind of thing. So. It's it's not one of those things where I'm a, I don't I don't like sitting and looking back at my ancestors and and the people who came before me and saying they're so dub. It just you know what I wasn't in their shoes and I just hit a rock drink and uh, so yeah I I'm probably gonna be the last person who ever sits there and more trees two trees drink drink um, yeah anyways so. What have we gone up here to do? I don't know. Uh, 
am I working on oil? I think I might be working on oil stuff. I'm trying to trying to get ahead of the curve. Trying to make sure. Oh, I'm getting coal. Okay. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Something here. Oh, I'm looking at the damage. Not a big deal. Oh, a radar. Ah, okay. I was building a radar. Several, in fact, I believe. That's right. Because I wanted to see what was going on. It's always good to have view of stuff. Do I hit a tree? Do I hit a tree? I swerve a lot. <laughs> Maybe I've been drinking. So, and here I'm, I'm looking at stuff. And we're still rolling right along. So, yeah. Measuring it out. There we go. So that way I know where it goes. He's going to remove the trees, you know, kind of prep the ground ahead of, ahead of the, the arrival of the team. There's a whole lot of stuff I could get rid of there. I could take away a whole bunch of them gun emplacements because, you know, don't need them. They are superbulous, I believe, is the keyword. The word? The keyword. Just the word. Get some more coffee in my gullet. There we go. And that's the nice thing is I have some 441 laser turrets online at this moment. I, I didn't check my... I checked my power at some point, not here. But I... The vast majority of the power usage is actually... Laser turrets use energy for being on standby. And I, if I recall, most things do. But laser turrets use a lot. But it's kind of a trade-off, you know? They're very powerful. They do... Good, I call them good things. I'm sure my enemies don't. But that's what works. And that's kind of what we're looking for. So that's as far as I want it. So I'm going to now start from the south. And do I have enough robo-ports on me? I don't believe I do. I might be waiting for the train there. Let's see what I do. Yep, wait for the train. Now what's interesting is, is later on I'll try to send the train back to that station. I'll eventually... This will be done fairly quickly. Maybe not this episode, but probably the next one. Then I'll start building onto the, ne the, uh, the next area. And it's... A train station can only stop a train if the train station is on the right side of the train. So, see how that the train station was on the right there. If it's on the left, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. You know, funny in an interesting way, not in a, in a you know, bizarre way or anything. So, alright, we are ready to go. We're ready to get things started. And this is when I, I realized that it doesn't like solid fuel because I, I believe I, what do I put in there I put in coal and everything's hunky dory it starts running the robots get busy heading down there delivering supplies but the active or the the active provider that I have pulling fuel off the train doesn't work it, it doesn't it doesn't use a solid fuel it refuses to and, and I'll sit there and try all kind I will put solid fuel in the terraformer to see if it needs to be primed if it's some sort of rule that it, it has to know about it beforehand, but nothing works. It just doesn't take solid fuel. So maybe I should leave a, a note in the forums that it doesn't take solid fuel. Maybe most people use coal to power it. Maybe I'm the oddball. I mean, it's entirely possible, probable. <laughs> I I don't know. So that's uh that's crazy. But that's that's how the terraform is. So. Uh, you know, as cool, as neat as I was, oh, I'll just use solid fuel. Nope. But coal's not too bad, and that's why the, that teeny tiny coal deposit up north, by the place that we cleared out earlier, that's going to be the coal deposit that I'm going to use to power the terraformer in the next iteration of building the canal. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are wrapping this up tonight. Thank you for joining me for... The latest episode of Factorio 4X, your 15-minute Factorio fix. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. So uh, 
I'll say adieu and let you enjoy the, the train ride. Have a good night, and bye bye